Hi friends, in this video, let's uh, talk about a deployment in Power BI. It means that how to publish developed visualizations in the Power BI. So here it is a very straightforward. We do publish our pages into the workspaces. So the workspaces will automatically provided by the Microsoft. So for trial purpose, we'll get a couple of days to practice ourselves or to test ourselves. First, before going to talk about a deployment, so let's design a basic visualization in the Power BI, then we'll go for a deployment. So let me design a very basic sample uh, uh, visualization. So let's load some data. So I will be loading data from SQL Server. So let's uh, get data and uh, type the SQL Server name. Here my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Let's click on OK. So if you remember database name correctly, you can type here. Otherwise, in the next window, you can select the list of um, uh, like you can select the database here. If you see that here, you can see the list of available databases in the server altogether. You can see here I have around 10 plus databases here. So out of this 10, like you can select one database which you are planning to load. Select I am planning to load data from Adventure Works Data Warehouse 2012. Under that, I don't want all the tables. I will be selecting the required tables only. So here I will be selecting DIM product. DIM product category, DIM product subcategory, and one fact uh, table, fact internet uh, sales. So if you see, once I select here in the right side, I can see some uh, data here. I can see it. So I am okay with this data. So if you don't want that data and if you don't want all the columns kind of stuff, you can edit it by clicking on edit. So let's leave out that. So we will concentrate in this video on the deployment. For edit and all, we'll talk about in the separate videos. So now let's click on load. Once you're okay with the table selection, let's click on load. So once you click on load, so based on the size of the table, it takes a while. If you see this the table is getting loaded here, you can see the status here. Load. It takes a while based on the size of the table. Yeah, it is done now. So now let's select one visualization, any visualization, so either uh, uh, bar or scatter or anything. Like I will be selecting a stacked column chart. Here, if you see, this is a stacked column chart. I just selected and select this and get some columns from the fields. Here, I will be selecting English product name. And along with that, I need one numerical column that is sales amount from the fact table. So if you see here, this is how I will be getting that. Now let me increase some font size and some colors here. Let's go to the um, uh, this one uh, format tab and go to the expand X axis and some increase the text size. And uh, Y axis. Expand Y axis and let's uh, increase it. So that uh, the visibility will be a little good than earlier. And still, and like, see, if you see all bars are in the same color. So if you want to change the uh, bar color, you can change that even. So you can see accessories in this color, bikes in this color, clothing in this color. Let's change the clothing color to this color and uh, the bikes color to some yellow color. So that to just to differentiate it. Okay, so this is how my channel is, my uh, visualization is going to look into this. Uh, let me increase the title uh, size as well so that data colors or something, data title as here. Expand this and uh, increase that. Let's keep it in the middle. Let's increase this. Yeah, sales amount by English product category name. You can change this uh, rather than English. You can keep it as a sales amount by product name, something product category name. Me remove some text so that the main meaningful yeah if you see this sales amount by a category name you can add uh, spaces as well if you want here so that sales space amount and category space name so that just to improve the uh, just to improve the readability of the 
a report. So once you are done with it, let's save this report. So I will be saving with the name of uh, deployment. Okay, so let's say click on save. So once your uh, save is done, then let's click on this publish button. If you see in the right tab, uh, right top side, so when you are in the home tab, so if you see in the right top side, you have a publish button. So let's click on that publish button. So once you click on the publish button, it publishes your report into the um, app data. PowerBI.com uh, website. So here, you, if you have multiple workspaces, you will be able to select that. But by default, work uh, workspace is my workspace, so I have only one. Let's select that. Click on select. Yeah, it is publishing. It takes a while sometimes based on the um, network uh, bandwidth and all. If you see this, it is publishing now. Yeah, it is done now. So here you can see the status. So success. If you want to see right away, you can click on this link. Okay, and if you want to see get a quick insight, you can click on it. So if you simply click on okay, you can you can click on got it. It means that publish is done. Then how to see the output or how to see the how to access that deployment um, visualization is let's click on got it and go to the browser and type um, app.powerbi.com. So here, uh, as we talked about earlier, you should have an account in the app.powerbi.com. So that's a free account only. Now, if you see here, so I don't have any data uh, dashboards here as of now. That's the reason it is empty. And uh, otherwise, let us see if it's in this side. Here you have this a couple of options here. So here, so let's first select the workspace under that my workspaces. So once you select my workspaces, so you will get like this dashboards, reports, workbooks and data sets. So as of now, I don't have any dashboard. That's the reason why it is empty. Now let's go to the reports. Under that reports, if you see, I have two reports. So one is the published, the other one is the deployment. So as of now, I just published a deployment. Let's click on the deployment. So once I click on deployment, I will be able to see the output of my report as well. So this is how the end users are going to access over the web. If you see this, you simply need to give the URL and you can share this with a uh, people who are in your network this is a share button you can see uh, share as well and but the people who are in the network only you can share it so here you can see by default we use a page one that's the reason why page uh, one so if you have a multiple pages in your report how it comes let's go back to the workspace so i will show you the uh, earlier uh, uh, a report which has already been deployed published if you come here so if you have a multiple pages it will come like this page one and page two I just in page one and this is page two. So there is no difference actually like how you have in your solution earlier. So it automatically deployed in the similar manner with the same names page one page two or XYZ names. So this is how we do the deployment in the Power BI and this is how we access the uh, visualization or pages in the Power BI in the website. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe and provide your valuable feedback. That's it. Thank you.